to get through the majority of anything, it's a mindset. You just gotta have that mindset that go get her, I'm gonna get it done by any means necessary. And it takes what it takes. Man, I've always had that mindset my entire life. I was a fighter, because I was told you're too small, you're not fast enough, you can't get it done. You'll never make it out of Alexandria, Louisiana. So I always had that chip on my shoulder to like, nah, I'm gonna show you better than I can tell you. Playing the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. I was supposed to be outside the hash. Went up for a fade ball. Was too far inside. Bang! Collision in the end zone. Laid there. Couldn't move. So many thoughts going through my mind at the time. My ankle was tender. My head was hurting. I didn't know where I was at for a split second. Thoughts, will this be my last time suiting up? But something deep down inside was like, get up, move. And you hear the fans out there cheering and it's just lifting me, man. When dealing with injuries, there's plenty of days you feel as if you can't get up, you don't wanna get up, you in just a funk. You gotta have a purpose. Something has to motivate you, but you always have to be reminded by your why. And that's what gets you moving in the morning. Just, just finding ways to get 1% better every day and working at my craft. So whatever it is I can get done, I had to do it because every time that I felt I wasted a moment, someone else in the world is getting better. And what I thought was an excuse or something that I complain about, someone would love to have or be in my position. So I just figured, man, make the most and don't take anything for granted. My advice to anybody that's been doing something for a very long time, <laughs> get 1% better. Never get comfortable. And you can always work at your craft. And that's the thing. You've been doing it for a while. You figure, you know what? I got this. Nothing I need to worry about. But the second you get comfortable is the second someone pull that rug right from under your feet and you begin to stumble. But if you've been in something for a while, find ways to challenge yourself. Find ways to get better. For me to keep myself challenged is just going that extra rep. Okay, what's something I don't know? I know my position. Let me know them all. So it's really just getting outside my comfort zone and just being willing to add different nuggets, different jewels to my game that I can find out to actually make me a better player in person. Control the controllables. That's your energy. That's your effort. Be mindful of what you do with your time and block out the outside noise and distractions. Because if you're a guy trying to make it, it's going to always be someone telling you you can't. They're going to be like, you should give up on that. Man, what make you want to do this? You silly. Man, block that out, but control the controllables. My big break, making it to the Canadian Football League, graduating, getting a letter from BC Lions in 2009, and I was like, man, I'm about to be a professional athlete. I started shaking, wanted to cry, because it was just a relief. Being told your entire life you'll never make it out, you're not good enough, you're just like everybody else, but having to show them, nah, you wrong. And it just felt like, man, dreams actually turns into reality. Man, it gave me more fuel. I actually, you gotta put your foot on the gas and mash even harder, because now I knew it was a new level, now I had to level up, and that was my mindset. I need to do more. I need to do more. How can I do more? How can I be better? My why, my family, my two boys, my wife, my mother, and more importantly, the fans, my teammates, the coaches, and everyone else that depends on me and count on me to make a play. To play as long as I've played, 13 years, consistency, that brings about longevity. If you're not consistent, people can't trust you. And being consistent throughout my entire career was able for organizations to trust me and know that, hey, Manny is a guy that can get the job done. Wake up, work out, eat properly, it's routine. Got to have a structure, got to have something in place. So if that consists of me waking up at 445 every day, that's on an off day, that's on a regular day. You know what, I need to get to the gym. 
I gotta feed my mind, because it's not all about the physical part. Where are you spiritually and mentally? Gotta turn a few pages in the book to making sure that I'm checking all the boxes and making sure I'm able to dot my I's and cross my T's to make me a complete athlete, but more so a complete person. Toughest point in my career, I would say now, playing amazing football, make a nice catch, high ankle sprain. Being consistent, having that longevity, you mean to tell me a high ankle sprain is what's gonna sit me down and end my 22 football season? My thoughts after that injury is, how can I come back faster? How can I come back stronger? And how can I make a comeback to still be able to contribute? For me, I'm gonna claw and fight my way back to be in the best shape ever and try to give it another run. But see, life is not as easy as a football game. What is the task at hand you must get done? What is your why behind everything you do?